Okay, so both sides are now tacked in. And you can see this is really starting to look cool. Um, like I said earlier, I tack in a whole bunch of spots on these butt type joints. Um, because it's, you know, you can melt it away really easy with a heavy tack. So you want to do a light tack and just do a bunch of them all the way around. Okay, so you have to make decisions when you build airplanes. And you, one thing I never talked about, which is as far as order. And you know, you want to build triangles as fast as you can. So I could leave, I could le let this fly and start building these members out and put the, you know, engine mount out here and start building. But I have a weak spot, right? I have this coming down and this coming down. My goal is to build triangles as fast as I can because remember the law of a triangle. Once you have a triangle, it really protects the rest of the fuselage from moving. So you don't want this to get out of alignment. So my next part would naturally be from this to here. Okay, that would create a triangle. Once I have that triangle, I know that that just won't move. Just like back here, I'm creating triangles. I'm creating triangles. Now, I did not do the seat back. I really should do it, but that's got a bend in it, and I'm contemplating how I want to do that. So I'm just going to kind of bypass that. But I put a, see that board, I put a support there. So I'm not real concerned. That will stay pretty rigid. This whole structure is really rigid. If I were to push on this, the whole table moves. So that tells you just how strong this fuselage is. But if I, if I put a bridge across here, I'm creating a triangle. And that's going to protect my joints up here from moving. So once I have that, and I know I'm protected because of that triangle, then I can start moving out here.